This week on Archer's Choice. It just, it kind of sets you into place where you're on a little boat in the middle of a big lake and you're surrounded by alligators. It's insane. One week past. Throw it. Yep, throw it in. I'll come back to you. Damn, oh, throw, hit throw. it. Nice, nice. What's up? Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. And this week, well, we're doing something a little bit different yeah. with the boys. Yeah, this week, Case and RJ, yep. they're gonna go gator hunting at nighttime with their Hoyts, which is something they've never done. They've both gone gator hunting, but not at night and not in this certain lake. With our all of our mentor, Hoppy. Yes, yes. And, and what's crazy here is, um, this is a new lake. Right, right. And, it, and there's a lot of gators in it, so, Hoppy goes over some rules and regulations with us and just lets us know what we can and can't do and... He lays a hammer down. He lays a hammer down. Osceola Outfitter. So let's get busy, shall we? Gators. Midnight. Madness. Swamp lizards. This week, RJ and the crew are headed down once again to Uncle Hoppy's. Osceola Outfitters, that is. Smack dab in the middle of Florida. RJ and Case are back at it again. But instead of going after hogs and turkeys, this time, they're taking their hoits on the water at night. With the guidance of Hoppy, they're going after prehistoric size alligators to support the overall conservation efforts in the area and to assist local wildlife for future generations. The American alligator ranges throughout the southeastern United States, stretching from North Carolina to Texas. Alligators primarily inhabit freshwater swamps and marshes and can also be found in rivers, lakes, and small bodies of water. Adult male alligators can occasionally reach 11 to 15 feet in length and weigh upwards of 800 to 1,000 pounds, whereas the females tend to be slightly smaller and averages about 9 feet. RJ and Case aren't new to hunting together. They've been teaming up since they were little, tackling hogs, turkeys, small gators, and bears. But this will be a first, as they've never teamed up on huge gators at night in the swamp together. Until now. The Kempfer Cattle Company has roots dating back as early as 1888, when developer, logger, and cattleman George W. Hopkins purchased the original deed of 196,000 acres for just under a dollar an acre. George Hopkins moved from Michigan to Florida to harvest timber and take advantage of the vast cattle prairies on the headwaters of the St. Johns River in central Florida. Soon after purchase, the construction of one of the largest Florida sawmills, the Union Cypress Company, went into production and at the height of its production run, was able to capacitate over 100,000 feet of high-grade cypress and pine lumber daily. In order to move the giant cypress timber from the swamps to the mill, Mr. Hopkins constructed his own railroad, known as the Union Cypress Railroad. Remnants of the old railroad can still be found on the ranch. Today, the family owns and operates approximately 25,000 acres of the original land owned by the family ancestors. The cattle operation is ran by Billy and Reed Kempfer, and in 1995, Hoppy Kempfer established Osceola Outfitters, another working element of the ranch. Being a working cattle ranch, Osceola Outfitters is host to a diverse terrain, from flat cattle grazing fields to pine forest and cypress swamps, which is home to a multitude of trophy game species and habitats. Mornings start early on the Kempfer Ranch, as Case has his daily chores. But before they know it, RJ and Case will be burning the candle at both ends, as this adventure is just getting underway. So RJ pulls up, which is great, because I finally get a break, and we have enough time to pull our Hoyts out of the case and practice up before we go hunting. You know, I love coming down here to Osceola Outfitters with Uncle Hop, with Case, Sage, everybody down here. It's always a great time. It's, it's, it's a bit of a drive, but it's always worth it in the end. 
we're going on a gator hunt and Hoppy goes over with the boys why we need a gator hunt. You know, yep. it's not Management. just because you want to have some gator tail for dinner, you know, deep fried. It is okay. <sighs> Anyways, but the whole point of it is it's managed. You know, at one point, you gotta understand the gator population was almost wiped out. Absolutely. And now, I mean, it, it is such a fluctuating market. And we have to call it what right. it is. It's a market. Right. It is. Because you got the meat, you got the hides, you got farming of the gators, you got so many things. So, so Hoppy sat the boys down and explained to them all the different aspects. And it's not like Case didn't know because cases involved right. with the egg collections and everything. Yep. However, RJ really isn't. Right. You know what I mean? So these boys learning this all together is really pretty cool. But but to have Hoppy sit there and tell them that, even while we were all sitting filming and listening, heck, we learned stuff. So we're getting ready to go out. Yeah, I mean, we've, we've been gator hunting before a few times, but uh, no, nothing to this scale. These things are monsters. They are. Here. You know, I've been around them a couple times and they're giants and even I don't know what to expect. This is gonna be awesome. It is. We joke around a lot and we have a good time, but we all had to sit down and how the serious side of hobby came out, which doesn't happen very often, but he had, he had to explain to us how dangerous it could really be if we were to fall off that boat. The, the alligators are so dense there, and there's so many of them that you just gotta be careful with everything that you do because it could get pretty bad. We'll just see, we get a big one. You're gonna see what handling a big alligator is like, and it's not and it's not anything easy. We we may not even get him in the boat. We may have to drag him to the shore and hook a chain and a truck to him to get him out. I've done this before. I, I, I'm not telling you a joke, and I'm not trying to be funny. I mean, I'm serious. So what do we need to expect hunting at night here? Expect the unexpected to answer your question, and I have no idea what we're gonna run into. This may be the gator hunting will be the easiest thing you've ever done or the hardest and most frustrating. You know, I've been bow fishing before and uh, go going on this boat and having buoys, having extra arrows, having harpoons on there, this is gonna be awesome. Hoppy went over the management part of it right. because you need to understand that if you don't, the alligators will go ahead and it will destroy other habitat. Oh, absolutely. You, you well, have to do it. Well, this lake itself good that example. we're in, is no one's hunted this lake and there is just, it's a big ranch and it's got a private lake in there and seriously, the water was the nastiest green color you would ever see. You would never think about swimming in there. In fact, at one point, Hoppy, huh, yep. made the comment to us. If you fall in, you'd rather drown because you won't make it to the shore. That's kind now, of Now, can big you words. think of that? We are telling you right now, as we were loading the boats, as, as we Into were the putting the yes. boats in the water, we had about a 12 foot gator come up. We had other gators swimming just, just to the motion of the waves and the noise. These things were, these are predators. They're coming towards the boats. I was in the first boat with Kevin Traum and Keenan. Yep. And we're in the water and we're not 15 yards from the shoreline while they're putting the other boat in the water. We had gators between us. So we get out on the water and we're in Florida, so of course it decides to rain. Thankfully it was only for about 10 minutes though. Yeah, that thing's a little bit bigger than we think. It's crazy. How big do you think it is? Eight, nine. Eight, nine. That's an eight and a half footer. Okay, so let's say right there. Where would you want us to put it? Right in the middle of his back. Right. That's where all the scoots are. That don't matter. <laughs> There's no one coming in. Look at that. He's going to take off right here. I can't tell you how many alligators we've seen. It's just one after another. This lake is absolutely crazy. Man, I got him coming right to the boat. Way down there, right where he's shining now. We got a face on that one. Ooh. That was awesome. We get out on the water, it starts getting darker and darker, and it's to the point where we can't really see. All we have is the tracker lights going around the boat, and I mean, to be out there and just know that you're surrounded by giant lizards 
is amazing and also terrifying and in a way humbling because you don't really realize how small you are in the landscape of everything on this planet. And it just, it kind of sets you into place where you're on a little boat in the middle of a big lake and you're surrounded by alligators. It's insane. This segment was brought to you by Browning. Hey, if you like what you just saw, follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Check out our website, www.archerschoice.com. This segment is brought to you by Easton. The boys are on the water after a quick safety briefing from Hoppy. And after gathering and checking their equipment, they put the boats in the water and are already having close encounters of the prehistoric kind. So we're, Case and I are up on top. We're both ready. We both got our hoist in hand. And we're, we're watching these gators. Hoppy's kind of calm as they come. Most of them were too small. We're standing there for a long time. Just kind of, we're like, well, Case and I are ready to shoot whatever comes at us. And Hoppy's like, hold on, hold on. Maybe draw back. Well, nope, never mind. Let's sit down. We did that a couple times, and I mean, th these gators are seriously hitting the boat. They're coming right in, just hitting the boat. It's un it's unexplainable. Because you, you wouldn't think that a, a gator would just run right into a boat, considering the size difference, but it, I, uh. So this gator comes and starts coming in, and I'm, I'm waiting for the words, I'm waiting, it's on my side, and Hoppy's like, okay, RJ, draw back. So I draw back, I'm getting ready. My heart starts racing, because this is getting close, and I'm, I'm not sure if Hoppy's gonna say shoot it or not shoot it, so I'm, I'm getting all terrified. And finally, he says, let it go, and oh my gosh. Everything in my body just, like, it was a release off my shoulders. Is in there yet? Hang on. Okay. I just stuck a big one. Right now we're trying to get it back up to the top of the surface water. So Kate can possibly get a shot so we can get two two arrows in it and hopefully just bring it up and just finish it off. Rolled up in it. Here he is. Here, give him one in the back. So Kate said it was another arrow and then <laughs> all heck breaks loose. Watch, watch, burn that poop. There we he go. He's rolling up in the line. We gotta be careful he doesn't roll it all up on himself. So Casey and I both get our arrows into the gator and Hoppy explains to us that we need to get this harpoon into it. It's got some thick skin and we, we have to hit it pretty dang hard to get it in. Let's settle down here in a minute. Ready? Did it stick? Nope. No. So uh, I might not have hit it hard enough the first time around, but we're good now. That's it! <laughs> hit bottom, yeah. now you've done something. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so we take care of this gator, and our our next thing to do is get this monster into a boat. I'd say that we're gonna need a bigger boat. Boom, boom. One, two, three. Call the back leg. There we go. Woo! <laughs> A lot just happened in a very small amount of time. Frankly, that was the best small amount of time I've ever had. <laughs> so, we start, we're in the boat, we start getting up on this gator. And I mean, what do you think, Hop? Probably from 50 yards away, it started coming towards us. Yep. It came right in, got a shot off, kind of went down for a bit, came back up, we got pulled back up, Case got another shot in. That was a perfect shot right in the back. Got a spear tip in it. That was wild, man. Man, that was by far one of the most fun I've ever had on a gator hunt. That was together, bro. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's different. Like when I'm with my dad and we're out here, and then you're the one that's, you know, working the rope and everything, mm -hmm. and the hunter's up there, and it's fun because you're getting to wrestle the alligator yeah. with them. Get the adrenaline that, pumping. Getting the adrenaline pumping. But when I'm up there with you with the bow, and I got a chance to stick him with you. Dude, that's teamwork. Whole new adrenaline set. That's right all there. teamwork right there. 
That was this, unbelievable. This is a together kill. It absolutely. <laughs> what do you this, figure it is? It's ten and a half. <laughs> every every bit of ten. I'm gonna say ten and a half, maybe even eleven. Mmm. 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 Is he a shooter? Oh, he doesn't need to wait on him. What do you think, Sage? No. No. Uh-uh. You know, one eye's bigger than that. That's a good hitter, though. Stuck him right in the back of the neck. Not as small as we thought. Definitely not. What you say, Daddy? No. No. Big old. Mm -hmm. Hard left. This one's right on the shore. Small. Go to the right, <laughs> So we've been cruising this lake for a little while, and my dad, he keeps telling us, draw back, draw back. We've been passing up on what I'm thinking is absolutely giant good, alligators, man. and he's telling us to hold off. You know, there's a bigger one here, I know it. And finally, we see one, and I'm thinking, this is my chance. What do you think, Sage? Yeah, we're gonna shoot him. <laughs> you gotta do it. Who, me? I was waiting to get closer. I ain't about to make a mistake again. Okay. That's okay. That's what you gotta do. So the gator goes under and then he pops up to our right. So we turn the boat, we start following this gator and I do not want to lose him. So now we're behind this gator. He's in range. I've been holding back on my bow for a while. Seemed like for years. And finally, my dad tells me to take him. Oh yeah, there you go. Nice shot. Watch the buoy, watch the buoy between your legs. Between your legs. Oh, here it goes. Oh. So Case pins his gator and we're throwing the buoys out of the boat. We're trying to make sure we follow this thing and don't lose it. And uh, <laughs> I gotta get ready to get my arrow into it too, just in case. So we're pulling up on this alligator. He's getting closer to shore. I've got the harpoon. RJ's got his Hoyt drawn back and look out. Take your time. Yeah. Throw the harpoon in, okay? Throw it. Yep, throw it in. Come back to you. Now, hit throw. it. Nice! Nice! Watch out, watch, watch out! The buoy's going! Stuff wrapped everywhere. Hold on, let's down. Oh my word. <laughs> I, I, just see, I see Casey and you're going like this. <laughs> I was trying to <laughs> that, <laughs> that buoy <laughs> fell in between the... Fell between our legs and out the side of the boat. One, two, three. One, two, three. First, uh, first alligator with a bow ever. Probably the biggest, actually I know for a fact it's the biggest alligator I've ever killed. And it was, <laughs> it was crazy doing it from a hunter standpoint, I should say. I've uh, been out here with dad, we always guided hunts and helping out, but being able to actually shoot one, especially a big one, is just crazy. Just, I'm just so in shock still right now. I I, I don't even know what to think. I guess you're feeling the same I, thing yeah. when you shot yours. I completely understand what you're saying. And just like, you're blank right now. Yeah. But it was absolutely <laughs> amazing. He put up a pretty good fight. We got my arrow in him, then RJ backed me up and then got the harpoon in him. And then we uh, manned him up and Way to go. Whew. 
I don't know about you, but I'm gonna tell you, that was awesome. Yeah. We were there and I mean, it was just chilling. It was eerie. I mean, it was just, it was green water, it was frogs, it was bugs, it was just knowing that you fall in, you may not come back yeah, out. Yeah, you ain't, you ain't going in there. It was crazy, it really was. But hopefully one day we can go back. Yes, I wanna go. I would love to go Take back. Take my Hoyt and, and hunt. And you know what, that's a place that you would wanna hunt at night. I mean, daytime hunting is fun too, but man, that was so much fun. You know, again, if you want to do some gator hunting, you got to call Hop. Because Absolutely. They're covered up. Osceola them. Outfitters, year round, give them a holler. And you know what? Thank you for watching this week's show. We'll see you next week. Same time. Same channel. Right here on, on the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice.